Hello everyone out there in YouTube land, Brad Allen Hensley here. And I know I haven't been on and made videos in a little bit, I'm sorry. But here's the fucking deal. I've been doing a lot of research on different things. And the first thing I want to address is this... I guess you'd call him a musician. I call him a piece of shit. Little Nas X. Well, here's the deal. Threatening to fuck anyone's dad is a rape threat. Because if you put any other sex in front of that, any, you know, put the opposite sex into that, and that's a rape threat. Well, motherfuckers, same goes if you're a fag, if you're gay, if you're homosexual, and you say that you're going to fuck another dude who has kids, that's a rape threat. Little Nas X, let me give you a little bit of advice that I've learned in my 46 years, almost 47 years on this planet. The internet is forever. Someday, you might fall in love, adopt a child because, well, if you're gay, you can't have one, so you'll adopt a child. That child might come across that statement you made, and you're going to have to try to explain that to that child, why you made such a hateful, racist, discriminatory, derogatory statement. Good luck trying to justify that. First off, no one baits someone into saying something as derogatory and deranged, disgusting as that. You know, I've learned something in my research. Every time that the left doesn't have a good answer or facts, to back up what they're trying to say. They do one of a few things. They will call you racist. They will try to hurt you. But before they do either one of that, they will threaten something sexual. They will say a sexual remark about you, if you're a conservative, about you, your family, your friends, the one you're with. Always. I've noticed this. Now, I'm a type of guy that back when I was younger, People were afraid of me. And they had reason to be fucking afraid of me. I enjoyed hurting people. It was what I did. I enjoyed it. That was because I myself was being injured. So I wanted others to feel how I was how I felt. Wasn't right, but it's what happened. Now, I'm trying to not be that way. I can still be that way if need be. 
If anyone's ever seen the movie Shane, it's an old movie, but fuck me running sideways. It's a great movie. That's me. I'm the modern day Shane. He was a badass motherfucker who could hurt people, but was trying to live a different life. That's me. You see, the left, they don't care. They'll eat their own. You don't believe me? Look at everything that's going on now. If you were on the left and you were spouting all the right shit, they would love you forever. But the second, the very nano fucking second, you have an original idea that doesn't go the way they fucking think. You ought to think. Boom. They'll fucking eat you up and spit you out. They don't care. They'll eat their own fucking children. Now, Mel Gibson makes that comment about the U.S. government and a movie, Expendables 3, with Sylvester Stallone, Dolph Lundgren, Jason uh, Statham, uh, Ronda Rousey. It's uh, pretty much an all-star, an all-star cast. There's a lot of good actors in it. And you know, when it comes to the left, he's fucking a well right. I'm an American, born and bred an American. I'm also a Native American, not just because I was born here and a lot of my family was born here for quite a few generations on my daddy's side, but I'm a Native American because on my mama's side, I got Native American in me. But the left has to understand something. You're all for gun control and banning guns and all this, that, and the third. You realize criminals don't give a fuck about what you put down on paper, right? They're criminals. So they will get and keep their firearms, their ammo, they'll stockpile, they'll hide it, and they'll commit crimes with it. And if you disband the police and put in social workers, well, fuck me running sideways. The only thing you're going to get is a nation of criminals doing what criminals do. They're going to be committing crimes as Fucking murder's going to be through the roof. Fucking organized crime's going to be through the roof. Drugs are going to be rampant. Rape. Breaking and entering. You know what it'll be? It'll be like the fucking beginning to the movie Demolition Man. Wesley Snipes. Uh, Sylvester Stallone. Uh, Sandra Bullock, again, all-star fucking William Defoe, I believe, and all-star fucking actors and actresses, an all-star cast. But the beginning of it, L.A. is in, is bad. People are afraid to, get, to leave their homes, and it's a war zone. Well, if you take away every citizens' right to own a gun, only the criminals are going to have them, and that's what you're going to have. A nation of war zones where war lords, only they'll call themselves gang leaders, are making up the laws. 
Now that's not America. What that is is Africa. Some shithole third world country. That is what you want. That is what we will never be. You want the left? You want us to be Russia during the fucking 80s and 70s and 60s. With one difference. One very huge difference. You also want white people to be the low man on the totem pole, to be slaves, to not have anything. But yeah, you're blamed for everything. Well, let me rephrase that. White, straight, Christian men. If you're white and you're straight and you happen to believe in Christ, well, everything's going to be your fault in the world of the left. I'm not racist. There's not a racist bone in my body. I call shit as I see it. But I'll tell you this right now. And I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Left, you try to make me a second class citizen, you will have a war on your hands. And trust me, the right, the conservatives, we have the guns. You won't win. See, you left us, and in particular, you, poli you left us politicians. You have all these guys around you with guns. Okay, they're around you with guns. That won't stop someone with a hunting rifle and a good scope. So all you gotta do is get high enough, pull that trigger, and you're dead. Because you can bypass all them by being high enough, but the cross is out on you. Boom. You're gone. Now, I'm not, 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 not advocating for anyone to do that. I'm just explaining to you leftists how fucking stupid and hypocritical your ideology is. You see, the leftist mentality, well, is the exact same mentality as a cult. In fact, Antifa, BLM, BAM, RAM, and all you fucking others out there, you are a cult. You can't have anyone disagree with you. Everything's gotta be the way you want it. You're a fucking cult. I've come close to being in a few cults. You're a cult. My advice to you is this. It's simple, easy to understand, and remember, my advice is this. You ready? You ready? It gets complicated here. It's going to get complicated in a minute. You ready? You ready for this? It's going to hurt. It's going to really, 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 really hurt. You ready for this? Think for yourself. Use your own brain and logically think for yourself. Look into everything that the fucking Democrats and the left and CNN and MSNBC and Fox News and all the mainstream media is trying to cram down your throat. Look into it. See if it holds to the truth. You see, there was a group of people back in the day that acted the exact same way 
as Antifa, BLM, and the rest of the left. You ready? You want to know who they are? Would you like to know who they are? Certainly, Brad. Well, I'll tell you, Brad. Those people were the brown shirts and the Nazi sympathizers, the communist sympathizers, and the commies and the Nazis and the socialists. Don't believe me? Look at what happened with Mussolini. Look at what was going on before Mussolini took power. Look at what happened, what's going on and how the fucking Bolshevik Revolution went on. It was violent. But look at how things were going before it happened. Look at what was going on in Germany and how fucking Hitler came to be. And how he implicated and executed his plans. The first thing he did was blame the Jewish people for everything. Fast forwards 80 years or 190 years, whatever it is, and gee, let me see here. Uh, who else is getting blamed for everything? Oh, yeah. Straight, white, Christian, conservatives. Hmm. Hmm. The second thing he did was to get all the Jews and make them have to wear a star of David on them. And then he made them all have to live in these little bitty teeny tiny places called ghettos, which is where the word originally came from, ghetto. Then what did he do? Oh, yeah, he put them all on a train, sent them to different camps around Germany, and had them worked to death or just killed. Hmm. So if we look at history and we look at Nazi Germany and Hitler in particular, we can see where this ideology and mindset will end up. It will end up in another world war. If we're not lucky. If we're lucky, it'll end up as another civil war, because, well, there will be those of us who take to the hills, take to the woods, and just, well, we fuck you up. And you think that the military will follow Biden. All the money here right now, that the majority of the fucking military will take shit and desert and follow us. Because we're the ones who'd be following the Constitution. Of course, by then, you'd probably do away with the Constitution. I mean, you're, you left us to trying to do away with the Constitution. Now you're trying to do away with freedom of speech, Second Amendment. And you're really coming after the Second Amendment because you know that the Second Amendment is what holds it all together. We, as American citizens, have the right Unless you're convicted of a felony or a federal crime, we have the right to keep and bear arms. Not as you left to seem to think so that we can hunt. No, 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 no. Or so that we can go to a range. No, 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 no. The Second Amendment states this, the right of every American citizen to keep and bear, actually it doesn't say American citizen, the right of every citizen to keep 
and bear arms shall not be infringed upon. Being needed to form a duly uh, basically, it's so that there could be a militia. Well, yeah, okay, we have the National Guard, but, you know, militias were more generalized than just the state. Militias were down to the town, the county. You know, they weren't just state militias, no. There was county militias, there was there was state militias, there was county militias, there was town militias. Why do you think there was militia men in Concord, Mass, when Paul Revere was riding through? Why? Because every town had its own militia. That is why we had that Second Amendment in there. It's so that we, the people, can have the means with which to fight back against our government if it ever tried to oppress its people. See, they had just went through a civil, you know, they had just, well, actually, they hadn't even gotten done with the fighting yet. They were going through a very bad time with England and King George, I believe it was. And they were seeing how he was treating them. They didn't want this country to do that to its citizens. So they put in there the Second Amendment. And they stated in it, shall not be infringed upon. Well, shall not be infringed upon means that it can't be fucking changed. It can't be fucking regulated. You can't fucking put down laws now to say, well, you can't have more than 10 rounds in a magazine. You can't have an AR-15 because it's a weapon of war. Hey, dumbass, an AR-15 is an Amalite rifle. It's the fucking name of the company. Uh, it is a single shot, semi-automatic. It means one pull the trigger, one fucking bullet. It's not a weapon of war. You take an AR-15 into war, I'll tell you what'll happen. They're gonna bury your ass. Because you're gonna be dead. A true weapon of war, M16. Well, the saw, the M4, the M60, Gatling gun, the newer models, Gatling gun, those. Barrett 50 cows, those are weapons of war. Grenade launchers, China Lakes, AK-47, AK-74, Drachnov, fucking mortar launchers, mortar rounds, grenades, grenade uh, launchers. These are what tanks, armor personnel carriers. These are weapons of war. 50 cal machine guns, either weapons of war. MP5 could be considered a weapon of war. But an AR-15 isn't. And yes, you need more than 10 rounds in a clip to adequately protect your home. First of all, what your bad shot? Secondly, what if there's more than two people trying to come into your house? I don't know about you, but if I had 20, 30 people come, wanting to try to come into my house, and I got a banana clip with 30 rounds, I know what's going to happen. 
I might have to change that magazine because I'm double tapping. But those motherfuckers aren't going to be going anywhere except to the morgue or the hospital. So yeah, you need more than 10 rounds in your fucking mag. In your clip. And if you think, conservatives, if you think they're only after your fucking AR-15s, you're insane. They're after all of our weapons. Our rifles, our shotguns, our handguns. They're after everything. That's why they want to make it tougher and... Get a fucking registry going about who has a fucking weapon so that they can then, once they get you registered as being a gun owner and got you in the National Gun Registry, now, when they take it, when they outlaw guns, now they can go to your house and say, We know you have weapons, we know you have guns, give them over or go to jail. End of story. And they're trying to make it where white people can't get a job, that our votes won't matter. Everything. Now you're wondering, how are they trying to get it? What do you mean they're trying to get where my vote doesn't matter? They can't do that. Well, that's what the fuck they did this last election. They stole it. How did they steal it? By mail-in votes, then mo most of them went to fucking undocumented, unregistered, illegal, fucking spicks and fucking ragheads. Illegal fucking aliens in this country. That's how they did it. Yep, that's how they did it. Because I looked at the numbers. That's the only way they could have done it. The only way they could have stolen it is that way. Unless they forged everything, in which case, that's just, that's worse in my book. Actually, you no, know, it's... That's about the same as having illegals vote. Because, actually, you no, know, illegals voting is worse because, well, we have it in... The law, the land, the Constitution with the amendments and everything that were done that, well, foreign people cannot influence our election. If you help them do it, it's a, well, you go to prison, it's a crime. The Democrats not only helped foreign people to influence our election, but they helped them to vote in this election. So the whole Democrat fucking party ought to be going to jail right now. And all the wine, the rhinos that are down with the Democrat party, they say they're Republican, but they're down with the Democrat party, your asses ought to be going to prison as well. But this video has already gotten a hell of a lot longer than I wanted it. So I will digress on that subject. And I will say... In closing, think for yourself. Do your own research. Think for yourself. And we're all Americans. I don't give a fuck if you're white, black, yellow, orange with fucking green polka dots and white stripes, yellow with fucking purple, neon, pink, red, orange, fucking multicolored, tie-dyed fucking... Splotches all over you. If you were born here or you legally immigrated here, you are an American. Period. Until next time, think for yourself. Do your own research. Be the most dangerous thing you can be to the Democrats and to the globalists. Be an independent logic thinker and an independent 
researcher. Until next time, I'll be seeing you.